No Film School's coverage of NAB is brought to you by Shutterstock, your source for stunning HD and 4K footage, plus high quality music. Blackmagic Design, amazing solutions for film, post-production, and television. My Road Reel, the world's largest short film competition is back. Hey guys, this is Andy with No Film School. We're here at the Roscoe booth with Joel. Uh, hey Joel, what can you tell us that is uh, new and different this year? Well, first up, we've got our new Roscoe LED tape. The one that we're looking at here, this is our Pro Gaffers Kit. So the kit comes with light pad AA battery holder, and this uses the same 12 volts as the light pads do. So a lot of the same light pad accessories we've got, or that you might have, will work with the Roscoe LED tape kit here. There are two available. We've got a tungsten version of it and a daylight version of it, so warm and cool. And each kit comes with different cuts, different lengths of LED tape that you can use to do car shots or monitor glow. The kit also comes with a dimmer, extension cables, the ability to power it from a car, so car power, different things like that. Retails for around $650 here in the U.S. and just gives you a lot of flexibility when you don't have room to light anywhere else. Uh, for $650 you get all of these things shown on the back panel or? No, you, so it's uh, two different kits. So there's a tungsten kit, so for $650 you'd get all the tungsten and then all the accessories or all the daylight and all of the accessories. And it comes in this convenient little kit right here. So next up we've got our Silk 110. Last year at NAB we previewed the Silk 210 and we launched it shortly thereafter. And now here at this show we're previewing the 110. It's its little brother. This is the same exact technology but now in a one foot by one foot housing. What makes the Silk technology different than every other LED that you see here on the show floor is that it's got a proprietary set of LEDs just for Roscoe and it yields uncompromising color rendering. So there's red content in these LEDs. It's flattering on skin tones, has amazing TLCI values, uh, good CRI values. Do you have an actual figure for the CRI? So the CRI value is at 98, but actually when you're talking about camera, the more important quality you want to look at is the TLCI numbers, because that really speaks to more what the camera's seeing. And the Silk has got a CRI value of uh, 97 or 98, depending on what color temperature you're shooting. That's incredible, and it maintains that throughout its uh, dimming range. Absolutely, yep. So as it dims, the uh, color temperature doesn't shift. Unit is able to be powered by battery, uh, so it's looking for 12 to 36 volts. One of my favorite things about it actually is the unit has a voltage readout on it, and as the battery is fading, the voltage meter will begin to kind of slowly dip down, so you'll be able to tell how your battery is performing on the fixture. Uh, price point and release. Uh, price point we're still working on, release we're hoping, uh, we're gunning for um, you know, coming up here at the end of May. So uh, for years, Roscoe has been known for its green screen and blue screen paint. We've had a chroma key, which everybody has uh, known and used forever. And we've also had a digital color. The main difference between chroma and digital is the chroma key is more like a Kelly green, and it's got a really broad bandwidth. The digital green, it's more like a fluorescent paint. It's got a lot more luminance. It's got a, a much narrower band of green or blue to work with. And this is our latest. We upgraded it recently. We made all of our paints lower VOC, and as we were reformulating, our Digicomp, our digital green and blue paint, we reformulated it in such a way that yes, it's low VOC, but it's also much, much easier to apply. Um, Digicomp in the past used to take four or five coats to apply. Now with the new Digicomp HD, you get the wonderful, great, vibrant colors of our Digicomp, which makes it a lot easier to key, but it also now is much easier to apply. Two coat coverage. That's great. So for someone building a home studio or working on a DIY project for a green screen, this would be a much better option. Absolutely. Chroma key would also be a wonderful solution there, but if they're looking for, if they're doing something like a high speed um, photography or special effects work and they need that really narrow bandwidth of green or blue to make that key easier to pull, this is the paint to go with. Most of the time, Chroma key works out just great too. A price point? So the green's going to run in around 135 a gallon, and the blue is uh, just over 100. Cool. 